Gentlemen, welcome back to the T. Shanley starting a business, building a brand vlog. This one, big number 103. So I gotta be honest, I'm a little lonely and it's really good to talk to you. Um, what happened this past week, catch up to speed, this past weekend I moved my, my two guys, Matt and Matodi, out of the Alpha M headquarters and uh, we moved Pete and Pedro to the official warehouse. And so on Saturday, my dad came, Matodi, Matt, my wife, everybody sort of helped transition and move everything up or over and, and set everything up there. And it looks incredible. And it's, we're actually, we haven't really missed the beat. It, it's super smooth, it's actually faster because we've redesigned sort of the, the, the workstation and the workflow and moved some things. And so it's great, but the ungreat thing is that, that I'm a little lonely. It used to, I used to have two people here in my office, and right now it, it's just me. Like, like seriously, like it's kind of sad. Let me show you the two rooms that used to be like packed full. You saw it a few vlogs ago where I showed you really the, the problem with, um, with the office here. We've got these two rooms that used to be where Pete and Pedro shipped out of. Now, it's barren, right? Other than a few uh, rogue salts and some, some uh, other things, putty and stuff like that. And then this other room, this is where they used to ship everything out of. And, and this is where we used to store all, all the boxes and everything. And, and literally, I'm kind of lonely. And so, so I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I'm, but I'm adopting and, and uh, adapting, I should say. The other cool thing, I'm like, okay, so what am I gonna do with these rooms? I'm not having like, I don't have anybody else who, who works in this office with me. And essentially it's like 1800, hang on. My, op, my almost, sorry, wait, wait for it. My office here is like 1800 square feet. And so it's just me. I've got my one little studio, but my studio, actually, let me show you that. Another issue I'm dealing with, um, or I've dealt with for the past, I don't know, <laughs> is this like totally like stupid? I just, I wanted to show somebody. I, I haven't been able to talk to anybody. So my office, or my studio, right? It's, uh, it's a wreck right now because I just got film or done filming a video about, about glasses. And yesterday I did one for PMD. Anyway, the issue with this studio, my studio has served the purpose, right? I, I put the camera there. Um, I shut the door. And basically it's like, hey, I'm Alpha M and all that good stuff. Well, one of the issues with this room is that this room had all these built-ins, all these desks and drawers and shelves that I've just ended up covering with foam. And so one of the other issues is that I've got this little outlet down there. I've got, I just, I can never get far enough away to actually show like a full body shot without I can never get like a far enough angle to show like a full body shot, right? And if I want to show like an entire outfit, I've got to basically do it in like little little sections. And so this studio is like a big step up from my old studio in my old basement, but it's definitely needs it it could use, you know, some some fixing up and and all that good stuff. And so I figured I'm like, all right, since I have all this space now and I've got these rooms, why don't I spend a little bit of money and actually turn one of these into my, my studio? And so that's what I'm actually going to do. In this room, I am going to turn this into a studio. I'm going to get rid of all of, all of the bookshelves, everything else. I'm going to get rid of the molding down on the floor. I'm going to attach lights to the actual wall so I'm not using those little clamp-on lights. And in the other room, I'm going to turn that into my wardrobe room where I put all my suits because right now upstairs is where because I've got this little staircase right that goes to this little door <laughs> well since we're doing this crazy video this is a tiny little door and up here right I've got a wardrobe see there's more shelving and stuff like that but I've got my wardrobe in there and so it's not real ideal to say the least <laughs> is this the worst T. Janley vlog ever? All right, let me go have a seat. <laughs> Sorry, all right. I know this is all right. Like, is this interesting to you? Do you like seeing this stuff? 
I've had to figure out what to do. And so that's what I'm, I'm going to do with those two rooms. I'm going to utilize them. And then what I'm going to do with the, the old studio is I'm going to rip out all the bookshelves and all the built-ins there and probably make a proper office, something with, I don't know, a little bit more of an industrial feel. I'm not real wild about those white shelves and stuff like that. It just doesn't feel uh, right to me. And so I've been lonely. I've been going over to the new warehouse once a day, and my week has been has been a little bit rough. I, I was sick this weekend, I think just from being run down. I, I got sick, so Monday I was not feeling great, but the end, at the end of the day I still have to produce content, I've still got a lot of promotions to film, because right now we're in November, and this is like, like promotion, like, like, it's like promotion overload. Everybody wants to, to get a video out there, all these different brands on my Alpha M channel want to have videos talking about their products for the holidays. This is like the busiest time of year, and so we've got to kind of make, make hay while the sun is shining, and it's just a lot of work. And so I've been a little bit overwhelmed, and when I get overwhelmed, I get stressed, and I've been bitchy, and, and I haven't been the most, most pleasant person in, in the wa in, in, in you know what I'm trying to say. But, uh, you know, everything is good. I've been talking to Kelly and Rob a little bit more. I, I still feel a little bit out of sorts. They're so busy that we haven't had a proper meeting this week. On Monday, I got a, I got a quick, you know, 40 minute phone call with Kelly where we we're talking about certain things and things are going incredible. They are handling everything. The technology end of things is, is, is going great. The customer service end of things is going fantastic. The new product is amazing and the hiring process continues. Kelly is still trying to find that, that A player and we're, we're doing the best job we can. Um, so T. Shanley is, is, is doing great. We're, we're still growing like crazy. And um, I really don't have all that much new stuff to report. Last week it was awesome having Kelly be a part of it. And this gave me the idea of, hey, we should probably once in a while have some of these guys come on, even if it's just like over the phone like we did, and, and have them sort of catch you up to speed as opposed to having me. And so I called Rob today. I go, Rob, I go, why don't you come on the vlog and, and talk about this? He's like, you want me to come on the vlog or do you want me to get, you know, the email campaign finished and, and, and this and that? I said, nah, I think I would prefer to have you do that. And so next week, I believe we're going to have, I know Rob is going to Chicago to, to headquarters. And so he's going to be hanging out with Tom, Tom and, and Josh and Kelly. And so maybe we'll have them on, on next week's vlog. But this week, I would like to talk about something that is pretty popular topic and everybody gets like oh and it's clickbait it's this 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 concept of clickbait and so I wanted to talk a little bit about what it is because I got called out big time for one of my videos um, a few weeks ago Brian, I can't talk right now <laughs> this is how my whole week has been going anyway clickbait. I got called out on it. Somebody's like, oh, the clickbait was strong. And I did like a little winky face. And then somebody um, on Facebook commented this long post underneath about how I should be ashamed of myself. And my, you know, I need to, I need to really look at my soul for like, like you were like went out on, on, on some like crazy tangent. And, and I sort of thought about this and and I responded. I normally don't respond to, to criticism from random people that I don't know, but this one got me thinking a little bit. And uh, actually, let me read you the comment. He says, Aaron, I wonder if the ratio is worth it to you and your soul in terms of viewership of people who lose respect for you, your content because of, of clickbait versus people who view your content to see what the clickbait was, probably more, uh, probably more beneficial than not. Uh, since clickbait is so popular, then it must work. I miss your content from the late uh, 2000, like, oh, it's 2015 and 16. It all just seems more genuine helping people out with great advice and suggested products more than sponsored videos trying to get paid and how I can make a video and how I can link it to PMP or Tej. <laughs> Shut up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you dare? <laughs> dare criticize my integrations with Tiege that are so buttery smooth like your face after using Tiege? 
shame on you. I'd probably do the same in your position, but it's uh, just not the same quality as it used to be. More entertaining than useful and helpful nowadays. And so I thought about this, and, um, and it was a, a valid, valid comment, but the thing that I took, took issue with was um, the fact that he's like, like talking about my soul and, and all that good stuff. And so this is sort of what got me thinking about like clickbait. And so my response to him was, thanks for your super helpful feedback. 10 years of doing multiple videos a week. I've done over 3,500 videos, just to set the record straight. Um, when I started, I was the first person to talk about every topic. Like, you know, you want to talk about like, oh, let's talk about the perfect V-neck sweater. Let's talk about boots. Let's talk about like, I, I was the first on YouTube back in 2008 when I started my, my channel. And for a very, very long time, as in like, probably close to seven years, it was like me, it was like Antonio um, Santeno. And that was pretty much it. There were a few other little guys in terms of men's like lifestyle vloggers or, or YouTubers, but then in the past like two or three years, it has exploded. There are tons of guys that are talking about the exact same topic that I've already covered. And so keep that in mind while I continue. And um, blah, 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 blah. I was the first person talking about every topic in 2016 and 17. The market of, uh, the, the number of YouTubers in my space has quadrupled. We're all competing for the same eyeballs. I'm just trying to stay relevant and build my businesses because it could all go away tomorrow. I do the best job I can and my soul is just fine. Take care and best of luck to you. And that's sort of, that's kind of the, the, the gist of it. You know, when you talk about clickbait, you know, you are, I am, we all are competing for the same eyeballs. There's so much content being put out there on the web. There's so much content on YouTube. There's so much content being put out there from the people that are taking in and, and consuming my content, Antonio's content, TMF's content, Brock's content, like, like all these style and lifestyle um, bloggers are putting out very similar content. And so you're competing with all these guys to, to get eyeballs and to stay relevant. That being said, I've also, like I've said, I've, I've done over 3,500 videos. The majority of them are not, are not sponsored or are not, are not paid promotion. You know, my, my goal has not changed now that as it was, was you know, from, from day one. My goal is to help people to give advice. What has changed, however, is my opportunity my opportunity to integrate and to have people that want me talking about their product. And so the one thing that, and, and that's, you know, it's real easy for, like, I've been getting a lot of hate too, right? A lot of hate from some of these other YouTubers even that are putting stuff out there that are sort of calling, you know, like, oh, Alpha M's content sucks because he gets paid to talk about things. Well, here's the reality. They're jealous. <laughs> in, in a lot of cases, these guys that are, that are saying that are jealous because they don't have the opportunity. And it's real great to say like, oh, I'm the honest one because, you know, I'm just telling you about things that I like. Really? Well, that's amazing. If somebody was actually presenting you with an opportunity, would you still, are you still not going to take the money because you're going to be the honest one? Or are you going to try and figure it out? Are you going to try to select products that you like and that you think your audience will enjoy and then try to integrate them. That's what I chose to do and that's what I will continue to choose to do. Like, let's be real, you're only the, the authentic one because nobody's knocking on your door handing you a bag of cash. If, you, if they were, I think you'd have a different perspective. And so I think, and I am incredibly proud of myself, for the job I do and the job that I've done, only selecting products that I believe in. Because I do not talk, like if, for every 10 products that I promote, I get 100 that reach out and say, hey, will you talk about, and they all have that, that proverbial bag of cash that they want you talking about their products. And you have to be incredibly disciplined. And that's why, you know, it, it, it's tough and it's tricky, but it's something that I'm proud of myself and I've positioned myself and been in a position now for a while where 
I get approached by so many brands, I've been so selective, I have the pick. It's like, no, this product sucks. I don't, I don't need to promote you because I've got, I've got 10 products behind you that are gonna, gonna ask and, and a lot of them are better than this. And so, so where the hell was I going with this? The, the, the point of this is that my content is the same in terms of the goal of every single piece of content I put out. I try to give some type of valuable information, I try to entertain, and I try to integrate a product in a way that is not like, you've got to buy this, like buy this, buy this, buy this. I, I, try to, I try to blend it the best way that I can. And I think I've done an incredible job. It's not easy creating content. It's not easy creating good content. It's not easy creating content that people want to watch. And so, you've got to make it compelling to the point of somebody wanting to watch. And so this whole concept of clickbait, clickbait, just for the record, is when somebody has a thumbnail or a title that has nothing to do with what the content of the video actually is. That's what clickbait is. Putting up a provocative or a thought provoking or sort of a, a, a title or a thumbnail that makes you go, huh? As long as it relates to the video, it's not clickbait. It's when it doesn't. That's what clickbait is. If, if you're getting called out or if I'm getting called out for doing clickbait titles and it actually has something to do with the topic and the content in the video, then it's just a great title and thumbnail. It's not clickbait in my world. The other thing is, um, you know, nobody knows when this whole YouTube thing is, is, uh, is going to go away, when this whole influencer thing is is going to sort of run its course. Nobody has any idea. I mean, it's relatively new. But things change so fast in the world of the internet and, and online, you know, everything. And so I'm at the point now where I'm just trying to do the best job I can. I'm trying to build my businesses. I'm trying to build my brands just for security reasons. I mean, that's it. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur, right? At the end of the day, everything I do is because I'm an entrepreneur. I mean, that's it. And, and entrepreneurship and, and having businesses and building businesses, like this is my opportunity right now. And I probably won't have this opportunity in the next, you know, in five years, who knows? In a year, who knows? And so right now I'm going to do the best job I can. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to build Tiege. I'm going to build Pete and Pedro. I'm going to build my advertising agency, Menfluential Media, because it's, the time is now. You've got an opportunity, and this is kind of, I guess, the business takeaway, is that you've got an opportunity. If you see something, if you see a window where you can sort of, you know, charge through it, plant your flag in the ground, and really make something of yourself and some security for yourself, your family, and your future, you need to take that opportunity because nobody else, all these people that complain about my videos, all these people that complain about me, about all these other influencers, all the haters, they're not going to pay your mortgage. They're not going to put food on your table. They're not going to make sure that your parents have jobs. They're not going to make sure that like, they're just going to bitch. They're going to complain. They're going to have that luxury. But I don't have that luxury. You don't have that luxury. You've got to work your ass off for you for no other reason than to make sure that you're set, that you're safe, that you can provide for your family. And the other thing is I've got people now. I've got, you know, my best friend Terry, who works for me, who, who, who is, is my partner in my advertising agency, men, my advertising agency, Menfluential Media. He just had a baby. That puts things in a whole nother perspective. That's a whole nother level of, of obligation and, and feeling of responsibility. And so, you know, it, it, it just, it, that's the reality. And, and so, so I will continue to try and do my best with every single thing that I do. It's not going to live up to the expectation or standards of everybody. You might not, or people might not like my content now as much as they used to. Honestly, I think my content is actually evolving and getting better. I, I, I take more time. I, I put more effort into it than, than I used to. Um, but it's going to continue to change, and I'm constantly evolving. But at the end of the day, I do the best job I can, and the only person I really need to make sure that 
is satisfied with the job I'm doing is me. And that goes for you too. The only person in this world, in this life, you need to make happy and to look in the mirror and be happy with is you. And so to my friend, my soul, I assure you, is absolutely fine. Guys, thank you so much for letting me vent. This was all over the place, but this is what I've been dealing with. It's been a crazy week. Next week, I promise, all tease, all your questions, plus sprinkle in some, some stuff from some of the guys. But guys, down in the comments, if you've got a business related question, let's, let's bring it back, focus, focus, back to you, back to business. If you've got a business related question or a tease related question, down in the comments, let us know. Next week, I promise, uh, it's, it's about you. I, I apologize for hijacking this and, and, and telling you some of the stuff that I'm doing here at the office that I'm going through, but, uh, but it's been lonely and it's been a rough week for me. And so this, this felt good. And as always, I appreciate you. We at Tiege appreciate you more than ever. One big monstrous update is that we have the skip feature currently activated in our dashboard. And so instead of pausing, if you've got product and you're like, oh, I'm just not using it, you can skip. Or better yet, go in and customize your, your schedule a little bit better. That's the, that, the, that are, those are the two main options and, and tools that we have developed and designed to help you at Tiege customize your routine and make sure that we're not sending you product before you need it. And so, you know, it doesn't do you any good if you pause it and you run out and you're not using anything or any type of, of skincare. The deal is the only way that this works and the only way that you prevent anti-aging or not prevent, you, you prevent mother nature from, from wreaking havoc on your handsome face is by developing a program and then sticking with it. And so we have your back. If you've got any questions or need any help, with the customization of your plan or any questions, email us at info at We'll help you. We are there to help you. Like we'll go in and, and look at your stuff and we will help you. Trust me, period. End of story. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We love you more than our double monk strap shoes. Down in the comments, if you've got a question, let us know and we'll see you next week.